Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Uh, the Warriors beat the Bucks 125-90. Still puts on the show tonight. Of course. As he beat the Red Hot Bucks. The Bucks had what? One, they hadn't won. They hadn't lost since the All Star game. After that horrible loss going into the All Star game from the Memphis Grizzlies, Steph had 29 points on six made threes, eight rebounds, five assists. The Warriors have had has won have won six of their last eight. The Warriors' last two halves Sunday against the Celtics, they had 38 points. Tonight, they had 78 points. Mm-hmm. What was the difference, Gil? Listen. Besides shots, not just shots falling. That can't be for the book. <laughs> for the Bucks or the, the we go, we go with the Golden State. Sunday they had thirty eight at the half. Tonight they had thirty uh, seventy eight at the half. You know, um, you know, I think you know when the, just starting off with um, with Boston, right? You know, a a, 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 def- a real defensive team, not a fake stat defensive team, a real defensive team. You know. Played them different. Played them to their strengths, which uh, became go to state weaknesses. Um, Jalen Brown hitting shots kind of threw them off a little bit. Them missing shots, so they didn't have the swagger that they had tonight. You know, tonight, you know, it's just like any championship team, just like any great greatness. You have to have a bounce back game. You know, there's going to be some games where you just play horrible. But what does your snapback look like? Right. And 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 Golden State snap back was tonight. 80. We had 30 something person. We got 80 tonight. Right. It's all about the snap back. And that's why they they are champs. That's why they're four times champs. You know, the the key, the key parts of, the, of that team. Yeah, you look at Draymond, he had a a 12, 6, and 6 game. Kaminga was 20, uh, had 20 points. Wiggins, who came back to the a lineup, he only had three. Steph Curry was sensational again. Mm-hmm. And then you got uh, T. Jackson. Uh, he gave you 15. So they got Chris Paul gave him 10. No, Chris Paul, uh, Clay Thompson gave him 10. But they got an, they got an all-around mm-hmm. game. And you're right. Uh, Giannis was 8 of 15, had 23 points. Uh, Dame was 7 of 16, but he's 5 of 10 from the three-point line. Uh, Bobby Porters gave him 20 points off the bench. But like you said, one team shot 36, 38% from the floor and 25% from the uh, three. And the other team shot 56 from the floor and 40, almost 49% from the three. One team made 19 threes, the other made 11. Well, yeah. There's a plus 24 right there. Listen, yeah, it, 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 listen. Um, this is why I don't like stats and I just like, you know, reality because you can make stats look, look mm-hmm. the way you want them to, right? Uh, like Bucks. Oh my God, the Bucks is playing very well. Against who? Right? They beat, they beat, the right. Bulls, trash, right? They beat Charlotte twice, mm-hmm. trash, right? And you beat 76ers while, without Joel Embiid, trash. So four to six wins came from trash teams. That's what you're supposed right. to do. Now, they want to yell out, oh, my God, the defense is so great. They went from 19 to five. Hold on. That's not how you look at this. Because, yeah, they were 19 before Doc got there. Now they're fifth. This is not the defense. This is the offense. The offense was second. Now the offense is 20. Mm -hmm. What he did was slow the game down, less possessions for the opposite team. That's all it was. It's nothing to do with actual defense. They're locking in on on the defensive end. Man. Yeah, so he, he's slowing the game down offensively, so it looks like the teams are not scoring right. as much. But that's all it is. It has nothing to do. That's why I said this. Your team was second before you got there, 19. Now your defense is five, but your, your offense is 20th since you've right. been coaching. Right? I mean, it's overall, you're 20th in offense, which is right. horrible. Man, uh, Golden State crushed him on the glass. I rebound them 50 to 36 and out assisted them 37 to 19. And you would think with Giannis, with Bobby Porters, with uh, 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 Brooke Lopez, how the hell does somebody, but uh, I should know, Brooke Lopez averaged like (laughs) seven assists for a career and the dude 7-12. 
So I, I, yeah. mean, I, I shouldn't be surprised by that because he's never been known as a rebounding a rebounder. It's even for a big, he's a below mm-hmm. average rebounder for someone his size. Yeah. Brooke, Brooke Lopez ought to be ashamed of himself. He had four rebounds. No, no, I, that, get that's, two, that's, that's I get two with two artificial hips <laughs> right now, Gil. 55. All I'm going to do <laughs> is box out. Like, to be honest, like, be honest, like yeah, you're boxing out, but no. We need rebounding. Boxing out is cool. It's like he's been taught. Just box your man out, and we're going to team rebound. This ain't no team rebounding type. Of, go get the goddamn ball. <laughs> and, 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 and that's the problem, man. You got all that hype back there. And you got rebound. You're getting out rebounded by an undersized team is yes. a problem. I mean, the tallest guy they started was is Kaminga. How tall is Kaminga? Six nine, six eight. Maybe it's Wiggins. Six nine. Yeah. yeah. And you got six eight. You got a, a bunch of group six eight across and the you board. Got, and you got Giannis at six eleven. You got Lopez at seven two. And you mean to tell me you got out rebounded by those guys? And then you got Bobby yeah, Portis at Porter, sixteen. Uh, six, yeah. Kaminga 6'7. Kaminga 6'7. Wiggins got to be at least 6'7. So that's even worse because you got two guys, the <laughs> tallest guys, they starting a college team. College teams start start 6'7, it go 6'7, 6'7, maybe 6'9, 6'5, 6'3. I mean, a good high school There's team. There's a high school team. There's high school teams. High school team. <laughs> bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, man, uh, Brooke Lopez, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Only get that many rebounds, Gail. What you want to talk? But, 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 but I guess. But look, uh, uh, you know, you have to do give. You have to give Golden State credit too, because because they're a small team, they do focus on getting the ball. Yeah, right. This is we're gonna all go after the ball so we can get into. You our know, break. but you know what it is though, Gail. Also, is that when you shoot the when when teams shoot a lot of threes, ain't no telling where the ball gonna go. So now it's a hustle th- a situation. <laughs> it's not like you know yeah. guys shooting threes. You're like, okay, it's gonna it's gonna. For the most part, man, when you shoot a three, it might take a long bounce. It might go straight up in there. It might go way over here. It might go way over there. It might come way out here. And then when you got those small guys, because it ain't like Brooke Lopez, you know, he plead a foot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But every, every team, uh, like, it's just one of those things. Every, every team? Every team you getting four, yeah, five, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's, he, I mean, like I said, he probably averages seven rebounds for a career, which is horrible for a guy his size. Now, I, I'm not saying it's horrible. I mean, because you get a guard to average that, or, or or you know, a point guard. Russ probably averages that. LeBron averages that for a career, but yes. for for so for it's a center, <laughs> yeah, it's horrible, it's terrible. Yeah, like the Magic beat the Wizards. Magic are quietly fourth in the East. Paulo Banquero, 25.6 rebounds, 10 assists in the win tonight. Why do you believe Paulo and the Magic are flying under the radar? One, in a small market. Two, they're a young team. No one, you know, no one respects the young teams. Um, but the, the young teams in this league are starting to play very hard. Um, they are the most consistent at showing up every day, yeah. right? You know, those... You know, the Orlando's, the uh, Cavs, uh, Sacramento. Um, they, go, they, OKC. Run, they run, mm-hmm. Gil, man. Slow your, slow your ass they down. Run, yeah, they running while everybody's trying to load manage. Everybody's trying to load manage. <laughs> Them young boys are like, nah, we, we we good over here. We can play our 38, 41. We, we, we good over here, coach. So the fact that the, just the consistency of them just playing hard every game, um, and they know they can steal some of these wins on teams that are load managing. Yeah, uh, I mean, I ain't really putting a whole lot of stock because they beat they beat the Wizards tonight, and the Wizards, me and the Wizards <laughs> won the same amount of games in February. Zero. We won the same the Zero. same amount of games in March thus far. <laughs> Zero. So I'm not putting a whole lot of co- and, and guess what, Gil? They might not win another damn game. Yeah, listen. The the best thing the Wizards had going on tonight is the hat that I get. I, I designed. <laughs> I designed the hat for March six. Special design, a legend, a, a legacy yeah. hat. They, the first ten thousand people showed up, got the hat. That's what sold you know the building. What? I killed up, got the hat, and left. Because I already, I already <laughs> know we go catch it there. So. <laughs> I I got me a hat. Say this is what I came for. I paid two or three hundred dollars for a hat. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> 
Probably, hey, some of them probably did yeah, that. For sure.